now you can see that distance is quite a bit but our guy is pretty smart guy and he can do something very cool he can fly and double jump I got this flying so I'm on the other side now this present up there up high it's obvious that we can get them but with some one of the functions of engine I can force present to look of the, to the direction of the mega dude and move to its direction so I will do it now actually game will do it and 25 of 25 gives that means that our texture on mega dude will now became different that is changing of textures also yes using that same function to getting things closer I can move them I can push them from the mega dude like that's pretty cool now as you can see there is on that platform that is moving there is something a little bit different and there is this X created from red and blue color mm, there is also one of the functions of the engine but it's not doing it in real time it's not using OpenGL for it it's just when you're loading a bitmap you can just uh, blend pixels from one to another and do it as many times as you want it will maybe slow a little bit loading it's actually pretty fast now you can see that Megadude is on this platform and it's going very smoothly wherever I move he still stays on the platform now one of the import one of the important things in games is actually uh, being able to control the time and make all the things move at any frame rate in the same speed so except from locking frame rate so I can put my frame rate on any that I want it's now locked on 60 but I can regulate time I can slow it make it faster and you will now see how it works now I will jump and slow time so you can see camera rotating resetting time back Ooh, and I lose my life now uh, everything except this collision is done with the engine only using functions of engine so it's working very fast and it can be done very easily also at any time of playing I mean if when I'm developing the game you will not be able to do it maybe if I let you but for example I want to view everything in wireframe and I do it so everything is wireframe I want to see only vertices and I did do I can also change the size of them you can see that I'm being from big to small this looks actually cool but didn't so great I hope that you have noticed that it's actually widescreen so engine is able to do widescreen there are some functions in engine that you just wouldn't be so happy to see and uh, they work as they should but it isn't something it isn't so much visible and I don't want to show just everything uh, in the future I will probably make 
I will certainly make new demo levels and also improve existing one so you will see the mega dude level looking much better in the future probably he will learn some new stuff Ooh. and that is pretty much all I wanted to show you in this one okay that is all from us uh, for this episode I hope you enjoyed it stay tuned you can subscribe if you want if you don't want that's your problem probably why am I saying this <laughs> goodbye he is laughing right now what will I say now he's looking at me strangely okay goodbye see you in the next episode of the development of the game engine FPX game engine thank you for watching once more